Good afternoon, Dave Nussbaum here. We are tracking rain working its way through the Birmingham area here at this lunch hour. Lyle looked downtown from our BJCC camera. Cloudy, rainy out there, 50 degrees, and much of the area is about the same here. There's noise, northwesterly winds around 6. You can see steady rain from Selma to Greensboro, heading back towards, say, Montevallo, Sylacauga, back to Talladega and Aniston. Temperatures around the area about 49.50 for much of the region here, so pretty much uniform temperatures. And you can see the light rain from Birmingham back to the Mulga area, back to Graysville, Fultondale, uh, back to Warrior, Morris, Hueytown, Bessemer, back to North Johns, Hoover, Lewis, and Light Sprinkles, back over toward Homewood and Vestavia, as well as in the Mountain Brook area, back down to Chelsea, a little light rain, but steady rain, Columbiana, Wilsonville, Childersburg area, back down to parts of Chilton County as well, Fayetteville getting a little bit of some downpours, Waldo area too, parts of Clay County, as well as into Talladega, getting those steadier downpours up towards, say, near the Aniston area now, and it is heading toward Talladega and Aniston, as you can see, Jemison, Clanton area there, and more steady rain starting to come on into Chilton County, and that'll continue through the next say hour as you can see on our future radar all of that drifting its way to the northeast while it's not a ton of rain back to the west Tuscaloosa Jasper Fayette and Sulledge and that'll be changing as we go through the afternoon watching this cluster of rain coming out of north Louisiana and an area low pressure developing here off the Texas coastline and you can see here on water vapor this is called a trough or a dip in the jet stream of river winds aloft where the airplanes fly that's sweeping through with that low developing here and all this is going to bring us that moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and that system heading just up to the north of us in St. Louis and what that basically will do is drop this moisture from the Pacific and the Gulf over us. It's called Southwest flow aloft and that's going to help to keep rain in the forecast throughout today, tonight, at least in the first part of the day tomorrow. So 80% chance of rain for much of the area today, 60% in the morning. We dry out Wednesday afternoon, Thursday and much of Friday, but by Friday night storms return into Saturday morning. And temperatures really drop, and yeah, we could actually see a little snow in some spots on Saturday morning. So future cast will show today again that rain continues out here for this lunch hour as temperatures really only get to about 53. Steadier rain coming in from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock this evening. Here comes that old warm front in that low I was talking about by 11 o'clock tonight. That moves through with some storms tomorrow morning, maybe some gusty winds and downpours. Temperatures briefly get in the 40s tomorrow morning, and the sun kind of peaks out a little bit back to the 60 degree mark on Wednesday. Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday dry in the 30s and 40s, and it looks pretty good near 70 degrees on Thursday. But as we head into Friday, watch what happens here in a second. But look at the rain totals here, maybe to the north over two inches, about a half an inch here in the Birmingham area. But as we go throughout Friday, You'll notice here again, pretty dry, but then Friday night some big storms come in and then overnight into Saturday morning. Yeah, we possibly could see a few snow flurries, maybe little to no accumulation with this one though, but definitely get ready for the wet weather today. Again, Friday is that next front moves in. We go from 72. 31 Saturday morning, 41 or high on Saturday, 25 on Sunday morning, just in time as you wake up for that time change. All right, Dave. Well, it's all about bringing awareness.